Neuroblade is a relatively new procedure that became more clinically relevant in the past couple of years. Lots of patients with brain tumors are very limited in their options. They may have tumors that had previous surgery that may not be a candidate for another surgery. Uh, these are patients who may have already had radiation or chemotherapy for their tumor that, that hasn't worked or for which they're having side effects from it. I've had a total brain radiation, two gamma knife procedures, and then this most recent procedure because the gamma knife just wasn't, it would do it for that specific one and they did it for three at one time, but it just didn't seem to take this this away. We are offering it to patients who have uh, brain tumors uh, that are in locations that are uh, difficult to treat either with surgery um, or where we think the surgery has very great risk to them. Um, these are patients in whom have already had other treatments and so they can't have those treatments again. Um, these are being offered for patients that they don't have any other great options for the management of their brain tumors. The Neuroblade itself is just a very, very small catheter uh, that goes in the brain. Um, our patients, they, they come in the hospital, uh, they undergo an MRI on the morning of their surgery uh, and they're brought into the operating room. We make a very small opening in their skull based upon where the tumor is located, so it may be in the front, it might be in the back, and then we advance this small catheter down using what we call neuronavigation. Neuronavigation is essentially GPS for the brain. We then do some calculations, we determine the size of the lesion, and we determine what temperature we want to essentially cook the tumor at. The laser basically cooks the tumor, and we know that at certain temperatures, you can actually kill a tumor with heat. And so the goal of the treatment is then to turn on this laser and we can sort of direct the laser so that it cooks the tumor but does not cook the surrounding brain around it. Once we get the tumor to a high enough temperature which we're able to actually measure with the MRI, then we're done. I left the hospital on Thursday and Tuesday was mowing the lawn. I just have that one, the one scar there underneath the hairline so they shaved this little part but my hair is used to growing back. I feel good again, and I'm gonna keep fighting. We're hoping it's gonna result in a higher cure rate or longer survival for patients who don't have any good options right now. This just provides us another uh, weapon in our armamentarium to treat these patients with difficult brain tumors.